Oh, this award season is stressing me out. So it is March the 11th and tomorrow makes it the end of award season, which is the Oscars. And I cannot tell you, I think this year I am so excited and I'm so confused because three out of the four acting categories, I still cannot really make up my mind and I can see it going multiple ways. So let's get into it on my final predictions for this year's Academy Awards. So the Oscars are happening tomorrow and I could not be more excited because this is the guy that's going to be on everybody's mind right now. So let's start talking about the four major acting categories, starting with Best Supporting Actor. So I think the Best Supporting Actor category is probably the one that is going to be the most easy to predict. Um, I think obviously going into this, we're all kind of buying for uh, Kihei Kwan to take this award. He's taken pretty much every major acting uh, award this season, with exception to the BAFTAs, which was kind of a bit of a all over the place show anyway. But I think this one I have to say is gonna be no contest. It's gonna go to him. Um, and if it goes to anybody else, I think that would be the only thing that we would call a major upset of the award season. Um, he's been giving such amazing, grateful and gracious speeches throughout this award season. And I mean, I wanna see it go to Kihei Kwan for everything, everywhere, all at once. It was amazing. It's an amazing movie, amazing performance overall. So let's see what happens, but I think this one's in the bag for him. Okay, so let's talk about the category that has given me probably the most stress out of all of them, which is Best Supporting Actress. I cannot, I don't know. I'm very tossed up and conflicted with many of these. So here's what I'm thinking. I think the front runner still is going to be Angela Bassett. I do think she is going to be the one to ultimately take this award uh, away on Oscar night. Partly due to the reason, here's where I'm conflicted, because again, I am the biggest Angela Bassett fan. I think she's amazing. I think she should have won uh, back for when she did the Tina Turner movie, What's Love Got to Do With It. Um, I think if we're going to look at performance in this category, <sighs> I don't know, in my opinion, if she wins out for that. I think if she does take it, I think it is going to be kind of one of those moments where they're awarding her for a great career. Um, if we're going to solely look at performance, I think uh, it would go to Carrie Condon for the Banshees of In Inishirin. Um I think Carrie Condon has actually a good chance of taking this one on Oscar night as well. Uh, so I don't think it would be a huge surprise uh, if she does end up doing that. But I have to say in my heart of hearts, if I got to choose, I think, um, I'm really kind of hoping for Jamie Lee Curtis. I mean, she is kind of a long shot, but she did take home the SAG award, um, which is sometimes a good indicator of who's going to take the award on Oscar night. She's also very well liked in Hollywood. Do you know what I mean? She's respected. She comes from that Hollywood background. She did do such a good performance in uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once. So I think in my gut at the end of the day, it is going to go to Angela Bassett. But part of me is really hoping out for Jamie Lee Curtis. So we'll see what happens. But I do not know. There's no clear cut winner on this. It'll be a good one. Moving on next to the best actor race, I think, as all of you know, uh, nothing really has changed here. I think it is going to come down to two people, which is Brendan Fraser for The Whale and Austin Butler for Elvis. Um, Colin Farrell, I think, you know, he did really good job. But I think, again, the big surprise over the award season was the fact that he didn't win at BAFTA and Austin Butler won there. Kind of really, again, threw a wrench into my thinking of how this is going to go. Um, there really is no clear cut winner. This is going to be a really close race for the best actor. Um, I, I think at the end of the day, I'm hoping Brennan Fraser takes it. Um, because again, I think between him and Austin Butler for Elvis is just two totally different performances. So you've got Brennan Fraser, who has the very dramatic and juicy role there as far as performance is considered. And then Austin Butler and Elvis He's got, you know, they biopics do really, really well. And, you know, members of the Academy tend to reward a lot of people who do do these biopics. And when I think about, you know, 
the academy as a whole, you got to think of what the overwhelming majority is going to kind of gravitate towards too, which in that respect could lead to Austin Butler winning. I think actors will vote for the Brendan Fraser, kind of that type of role. Whereas other people might go for the Austin Butler Elvis role, which is a little bit of, you know, again, acting, singing, all of that. Um, I, again, I'm, my fingers are crossed for Brendan Fraser, I think. Um, but if Austin Butler pulls this one off again, I don't think it'd be a big surprise, but I think I'm going to stick with Brendan Fraser on this one. Um, just thinking of overall dramatic performance, I thought it was a great performance. So that's going to be my pick for best actor is Brendan Fraser. And finally, we're moving on to the best actress race. So this one has kind of changed, I think, a little bit over the last while. Kate Blanchett, obviously for Tar, has been kind of sweeping award season for the majority of award season winning. Um, and then there's Michelle Yeoh for uh, Everything Ever All at Once. Um, I think this year, you know, Kate Blanchett was the front runner. I think in my heart of hearts that it is going to go to Michelle Yeoh for a multitude of reasons. Um, Everything Everywhere All at Once has been getting a lot more momentum the closer we've been getting to the Oscars. And I think Michelle Yeoh has a really good narrative for winning Best Actress as well. Both performances are amazing and I think again it's like splitting hairs, but I think the Academy is going to go with Michelle for not only performance reasons, but I do think, um, you know, going for a diversity factor too, I think that does play a little bit more into her hand. Um, not that it should, but I mean, at the end of the day, you know, Halle Berry is the only woman of color that has won the Best Actress Award out of, you know, this is what, the 95th year. And, you know, I do think that Michelle Yeoh has a very good chance. I think she is the front runner going into this. Um, and I think she deserves it. It is such a unique movie, such a unique performance. She's such a good actress. Um, and, it, you know, there is a lot of underrepresentation. Um, in these acting categories. And I think she has the edge to take on Kate Blanchett. The other fact with Michelle Yeoh is that she did take the SAG award for best actress. And again, I think that is just a really good indicator of kind of where everyone's kind of thought process is going when they're looking at everything ever all at once. It's gaining a lot of momentum. I think it's gonna do very well going to Oscars. And I do think it is gonna actually take best picture probably at the end of the day and more than likely best director and screenplay, I think. Um, I think there's just a lot of love for this film for so many reasons with its uniqueness and its casting. Um, I think it's gonna have a very big night overall. So best actress for me is going to Michelle Yeoh and I honestly, my fingers are crossed she takes it because I think it's just gonna be such a great moment on so many levels and I think she really deserves it. So best actress, Michelle Yeoh. So those are my thoughts and predictions of what we're going to see tomorrow night at the Oscars. What do you guys think? Let me know. Comment, subscribe, all of those fun things. Um, I'm really, really excited for tomorrow night. Again, the fact that we've got kind of three acting categories that aren't really clear cut. It's going to be really fun to see what happens, uh, the reactions of the night. And hopefully, like I say, the main thing that everyone needs to remember is just to keep Will Smith's wife's name out of their blanking mouth. So everybody, we'll see you guys after the Oscars for a recap and have a good day. Bye.